What's up, guys? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. You got a spot on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> FBI, open up. Three, two, one. <laughs> If you see this sign, then that's where the table is that we are set up. We're here at Brick World and we're going to get some lunch. All right, we're going to B-dubs. And we're here at B-dubs. We're going to be getting some of the hottest wings here on the menu. No. The Blazing Carolina Reaper. It doesn't look like it, but this is 50 wings. This is the hot one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some snacks. <laughs> Yo, that's a sick bucket. FBI, open up. Oh no. Check out this cool train. Empire Lug built trains this year. I'm back downstairs in the convention hall trying to get some deals from JB. Dang, 100 501st troopers. Wow. There's a Tauntaun in there. Oh, got the Beach Trooper, Praetorian, Sith Troopers, and First Order Troopers and Flame Troopers. Got all the Stormies, OT, a bunch of Rebels figs in here. Oh, this is the 2011 Darth Maul Poly bag. I'll be your first buyer. How much? 40. 40 bucks. Yeah, it's not even sealed. He's not worth eight. That bag is sealed. But if Ryan's touched it, that adds like, oh my Less word. Less value, I know. I'll give you 35 now. Okay, $5,050. <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. I also managed to pick up one of the figures on my list. I was able to get him for $25, thanks to Ryan. Shout out to Slego for selling me this guy. I'm not sure if I'll open this up. I mean, it's like my most expensive minifigure at this point, so I'll probably keep it sealed for a while. Also found out that there were two variations of this Pod Racer poly bag. As you can see, this one has 60 pieces. This one has 58 pieces. Got those from JB along with these sealed classic system. First ever Luke's Land Speeder and Anakin's Pod Racer. Really cool stuff. I didn't have anything to conclude the day, but that was day one, and now we're gonna pop over to day two. Took me for granted. Don't recognize you anymore. What's up guys, it's day two, it's Friday. We're heading into the convention center. Went for a quick swim this morning and we're gonna go check out the layout, see if there's new mock set up and go say hey to some friends. So we just went through like half the convention center, getting some nice B-roll and footage so that you guys can see all the great mocks that are happening here. We're gonna go to Chipotle and get some food now, so come on with us. Like on the media. That's a really interesting way to get there by doing that instead of turning right that here. That is pretty funny. You're supposed to turn right here. Seeing like, wow. Guys. Rolling back in. We're gonna go back in and video the rest of the convention. Then we're gonna go see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to. The helmet is in stellar condition. You can replace a white arm. You don't know my financial situation. We're competing in Ryan's challenge against all those people. A few moments later. So I got out after the first round of the challenge and I'm just gonna stare at this cliff while I contemplate jumping off. <laughs> So we're at Chipotle. It's been a huge day, um, tons of walking, talking, building, and now it's time to eat, so.
What's up guys, welcome to the Danny Bob Bob Squad room tour. So this room is pretty legit, not gonna lie. It's gonna take a while for us to get through the entire thing. So it's so large, there's a lot of lights. Three, in fact, three, there's three lights. So the beds are pretty insane. These were specially made so that you can barely fit two people in them. Big bathroom, nice thick material. If you got cold in the night, let's just say you could come in here. You get real warm. Uh, that was the room tour. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Happy building. Oh, I want to play it. I play soccer. Where's Cal? We're still waiting on Cal. Yep. He's doing his hair. No socks. Going down the escalator with Danny. How'd you get over there? Lego Cons being live streamed by none other than Ryan himself. So we're gonna go check in and see if we can have some fun. <laughs> no, I'm hoping that it's gonna be good this year. I just wanna see the ATTE, you know, Cat Bane's Justifier, and maybe maybe some Avatar sets or something, that'd be really cool. This way. Hands and feet. Little push-ups. Oh, he's on his knees already. Oh, that's two. Ninjago, you've been watching. It's all Ninjago, yeah. Ninjago, yeah. Okay. I do push ups while I watch Ninjago. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Well, we lost Cal. It's the men in black. Like a little black speck on the camera. It's gonna take over. We're gonna eat some food. I just got back to the room and I bought a few things before the garage sale even started, big surprise. And I got a couple of OG 2005 sets. All right, so we got the light up Anakin, bing bing, and Obi-Wan, the bounty hunter pursuit with the Zam Wessel minifigure, which I'm pretty excited about, as well as the original ATTE, which is so cool to purchase the first ever ATTE on the same day, the 2022 ATTE was revealed Lego Con. So those are the three sets that I got. In addition to that, I also got this OG Kashyyyk Trooper from the clone turbo tank and not one but two jedi bobs here's the four og phase ones that go with that atte walker and then i also got one of these original boba fett's more so the fact that i got them is what's so exciting Whew, dude it has been a big three days and we aren't even done yet we still have tomorrow so today was the first public day there are over a thousand people attending meaning that are displaying or here for the full effect probably another two thousand people that came today the line to get in was crazy all day long uh, public hours were from 9 30 until 4 and i'm pretty sure people were still coming in in the afternoons we were actually out for most of the afternoon because it was so crowded tonight there'll be a garage sale and then world of lights so i'm pretty excited about that looking forward to it we're at Course, guys. Eating again, I know. It's ridiculous. It's been like three days and we've eaten like 58 times, but here's our food and now we're gonna devour it. What's in there? Because I can't see anything right now. Five dollars for five leagues. Twenty, forty. It's uh, ten bucks a bit. Ten bucks a bit. I'll take the whole thing. Are you gonna buy it? Holly, show me what you got. I've got first up. Oh no. Yeah, fifty bucks for the final challenge seal. Janet can say I am deceptive, but less than retail, which is great because it was only on sale for six months. Yeah, we missed out a lot. How's it going? I got some first quests. I taught myself how to complete in the theme, but now I guess I'm going for it again. I don't even know that theme. That's yeah. very cool. With Lauren Cop, some good stuff. I just won the tie fighter. Yeah, it's the best tie fighter, isn't it? Yep, that's why I got it. We're going to 7-Eleven now. So far away. <laughs> Thank you. 
sir. We got the 7-Eleven haul. 11, 12, and 26. Man, Martin needed to give us more money. This is what I'm doing with his money. Thank you, Martin, for buying snacks for all of us. No, I'm just kidding. I'll give you your change back. Wait, cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give him money, I guess. <laughs> I'll just give him my four dollars. Brickworld is officially over, and I am taking this briefcase halfway across America to deliver to Mr. Beast. It's sad. All packed up. All right, it's last day. We're rolling out. This is where the fun begins. Am I right? Nice, Dougie. Nice. Here's my suitcase right here. There, I helped. Good job, guys. Bye, Josh. The door's locked again. Oh, here Bye, you go. Josh. Get out. Indeed, man. <laughs>